My name is Dr. Jennifer Taylor Kauser. I'm an adult and pediatric pulmonologist at National Jewish Health in Denver. Today we're here to answer questions from the CF community about infection. This question is from Sarah. Do all infections damage the lungs? That's actually a really great question and we don't know completely what the answer is to it. If you looked at a bronchoscopy where you looked into the airways of someone who didn't have any cystic fibrosis or any other lung diseases, you wouldn't find any bacteria at all there. So we do think that all bacteria in the lungs are abnormal. What we're not quite sure about is how much is going to cause damage, particularly, for example, with non-tuberculous mycobacteria. We do cultures almost every time someone comes into clinic but we're not sure if that immediately causes problems for the person with cystic fibrosis. And there are ongoing studies to determine, do we need to treat that infection immediately? Or is it okay to watch it for a little while and start to treat it when it causes damage? This question is from Amy. Are there any treatments on the horizon for Mycobacterium abscessus? That's a great question. There are actually a lot of studies looking at the diagnosis and treatment of non-tuberculous mycobacteria, or NTM. So for abscesses particularly, we're looking at things like bedaquiline, we're looking at things like nitric oxide, and we're also trying to figure out when do we need to treat that bug because sometimes people culture it and it doesn't right away cause a lot of signs and symptoms. So there are treatments on the horizon for mycobacteria abscesses. This question is from Carrie. What is being looked at to treat a chromobacter? And are new antibiotics or treatments being developed? This is a very exciting time for treating infections in cystic fibrosis. The CF Foundation recently announced a $100 million initiative to look at diagnosis and treatment of new infections and of old infections. So there are definitely going to be new antibiotics in the pipeline, and we're going to learn how to use the ones that we have much better. This question is from Haley. How effective are modulators in lowering infection rate? Is there any data showing that these drugs lead to lower rates of infection with bacteria? That's a very good question. Modulators are definitely going to impact bacteria in the airways of people with CF, and we've seen that in some clinical studies. One study looked at the airways of adults and kids that were younger and showed that we had decreased rates of bacteria. Unfortunately, there was another study that showed while Pseudomonas originally went down, it later rebounded back to its normal rates. But over the time that we have increasingly better modulators, I suspect that we'll be better and better at clearing bacteria. Thank you all for sending in these really great questions. You're paying a lot of attention to what's going on in the CF research community. We really appreciate it.